मॉड्यूल सेवन लेक्चर थर्टी फाइव क्रिप्टोग्राफी सी आई ए मॉडल सी आई ए इज द वाइडली यूज सिक्योरिटी मॉडल विच इज यूज वैन क्रिएटिंग सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसीज ऑल द सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसीज इज क्रिएटेड अराउंड द सी आई ए मॉडल सी आई ए स्टैंड फॉर कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी अवेलेबिलिटी एंड इंटीग्रिटी कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी एंश्योर डाटा इज एक्सिस्ट बाय द ओनली अथोराइज पर्सन user ids and password access control list and policy based security are the sum of the method through which confidentiality is achieved integrity integrity assures that the data or information can be trusted ensure that it is not modified by any unauthorized person and remain it in its original state when at rest or transfer encryption and hashing algorithm are used in providing integrity of the data availability data are available when it is required hardware maintenance software patching and network optimization ensures the availability of the data cryptography in security a plain text is converted into cipher text and cipher text is converted back to the plain text with the mathematical algorithms to change the plain text to the cipher text is called as an encryption to change the cipher text to plain text is called as an decryption in the below image the string hi is the plain text is converted to the cipher text with the encryption with the help of some key and from decryption cipher text is changed back to the plain text types of cryptography there are the three cryptography type secret key cryptography public key cryptography and hash function secret key cryptography is also known as symmetric encryption in the cryptography source and destination will use the same key for the encryption and decryption the same key will be used by the source for encrypting and decrypting the data and the same key will be used by the destination for encryption and decryption public key cryptography public key cryptography is also known as asymmetric key encryption in this encryption one key is used for encryption and separate or different key used for decryption the key used for encryption is known as the public key which will be publicly available for all anyone can encrypt the data or the information with the public key but for the decryption or for the receiver device which will decrypt the data the private key will be used and private key will not be shared with others it will be kept as a private in the devices hash function this is the one way encryption used to checking the integrity of the data or the information if data will not be modified hash value will be remain the same if data will be modified hash value will be changed it will generate one unique value based on the encryption or the algorithm we used the unique value will be remain the unique every time when the same string will be passed through the algorithm ssl handshake ssl is used for the encryption when data transfer in the clear text between two machines in the network in http protocol the communication channel is insecure and data transfer from source to the destination is in clear text if an attacker listening on the network attacker can sniff the traffic and steal the user information so https is used to secure the communication or encrypting the data while sending the information from one source to the destination s in the https stands for secure socket layer after the three way handshake with the tcp protocol the machines start the process of initiating the ssl ssl handshake initiated from the client machine the following is a standard ssl handshake is used between the client and the server the client send a hello message to the server this include the ssl version number supported encryption algorithm and some session specific data server send a hello back to the client this include the ssl version number server signed certification which contain the public key for the data encryption 
which supported the encryption algorithm. Client authenticate the server certificate, name, date, issue time, all other information and create the pre-master secret key during the session and encrypt that information with the server public key and send the encrypted pre-master secret key to the server. As public key can be publicly available and only who has the private key will be able to decrypt the message. So client machine generate a pre-master secret key and encrypt that information with the public key of the server. And only the person who have the private key can decrypt the data. Now the server uses its private key to decrypt the pre-master secret. Both server and client perform this step to generate the master secret key with this agreed cipher or agreed algorithms. Now both client and server exchange messages to inform that future message will be encrypted. They will use the same key for encryption and decryption. They will use the symmetric cryptography to encrypt decrypt the data because they are using the same key to decrypt and encrypt the messages. Thank you.